Hello everyone and welcome to my reaction of a Ruby Volume 7 trailer. I am super excited. I saw the teaser. I've seen Nora, Rin, and Jean. I don't know if they show up in this, but I've seen their outfits. I know what they look like. Not a fan of Jean's hair. It's not too bad. I'm getting used to it. Nora's is my favorite outfit so far out of the entire group. Out, out of everyone. Let's move on. Let's just get into it. <clears throat> Three, two, one, let's go. Many have described these as uncertain times. Okay. End of volume I'm six. I'm trying to do what I think is best, but I really can't tell if what's best is what's right. Ooh. This isn't right. This whole city, it just seems Whoa. awful. So what do we do? Well, we didn't come this far to fail now. Dude. Until now, I believed it was impossible Dude, it feels to cyberpunk turn the tide against Saber. Dude, Sabertooths? Those look sick. We find ourselves in a position of needing... Whoa, Ren! ...a new approach. She will keep returning stronger and stronger. Dude. Unless we destroy her. Wow. Ironwood hat is looking good. Yeah, I saw this. This was in the little tease thing. What's going on there? I love Blake's new hair. The Geist. And I also really like Yang's new uh, weapon on her arm. It's actually like extending out. Is that it? I was honestly expecting things to go a lot rougher. Oh. Ah. Uh. Thank you so much for checking out the Volume 7. Uh, you can keep the hype train going. You can check out the Ruby Complete movies over there. Or if maybe you want to switch things um, up, watch all of Camp Camp Season 3, you can check out the playlist in the description below. Uh, um, things, excuse me? And it would make us ever so happy if you dang that bell. I just want to be happy. One thing I'm sad about, Crow doesn't have a new look. Mm, I hope he does later. Wait, when? I didn't see their outfits. This is their... So this happens at the start! Is this episode one? Does the relic take it in episode one? Who? Who? This is this is this is episode. This is the start. This is this has to be episode one. So okay, maybe Crow does get a new look. Wait, I did, oh, Crow, Crow's voice. Wait, 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 wait. I was honestly expecting things to go a lot rougher. Okay. See, when he pronounced rougher, I was like, that sounds a little weird. I forgot he got a new voice actor. Does not sound bad. I am happy. From what I've heard, it's the guy that does uh, uh, Yato from Noragami, which I'm really excited about. I love that show. He was awesome in that. I mean, that, it sounds like Crow. It's not bad at all. Who is that? Dude, ah, that's episode one. Ugh. Ugh. Is that episode one? I, I heard that uh, they were saying that they're going to be picking up. I'm just going to leave this here. Gonna, I'm going to scroll through it. I heard they're picking up right where volume... Um, six left off i am just my mind is going crazy right now so they said that episode one of this is an altered version of episode 14 i think it would have been from episode six so was was volume six did i say episode six volume six was episode was jeez, I, I i can't i can't talk my mind is going crazy i love this i like i like ruby's new outfit a lot so she has the relic here so when does this all take place? I'm analyzing too much. I don't like doing this. That's her. That's her uh, time skip outfit. That's the old one. Or the. What do I call it? <laughs> we need names for this stuff. Just, I time skip outfit. I guess. So this happens early. When do they get the new outfits? Is what I need to know now. Because I thought that was going to happen in the first episode. I thought we were going to start the episode with them entering atlas and doing something and i guess maybe this happens and then halfway th and also i guess the, the relic gets taken 
I don't know what to say about this. But they have different outfits here, so is this so this is something different going on? It looks like they're in a cave system? Maybe? Also, is there a good look at Ruby's new hair? I love- I love this. <laughs> I love that. Um, where's a good shot of Ruby's new hair? Okay. It's hard to tell here, but it doesn't seem like it's quite as spiky as it was in the artwork. I- I- I, I love- I love all of them. <laughs> it looks so good. Oh, I love her hair. It looks so cool. I wish it had the white fur in the ear still, like Volume 2. That looked really good. I miss that. But uh, this is so cool. Her sliding down the, the sword. Is it just the arm that she takes out here? I think it's just the arm. At first, yeah, I can, yeah, it's, it's a little hard to see. It's kind of like blown out a bit. So yeah, here, they're in their original outfits here. I love Nora's new outfit. It looks so good. These centipede things are disgusting. Also, I love that he has uh, his father's sword or uh, dagger thing on his shoulder. That's really cool. Yeah, this is all, I'm assuming, first episode stuff right here. What is happening? I wonder if... Uh, uh, I, I'm assuming Oscar's going to have the same outfit since he just got that last volume. What the heck are those things? So yeah, this is something completely different. Is this supposed to be the... Are, are Grimm's attacking the vault? Is that what this is? But... Uh, here's the thing. Typically, the Ruby trailers only show stuff from the first episode. Maybe little tiny pieces from the second. Is all this stuff happening in the first two episodes? We are in for a crazy ride this year, my friends. Oh my, okay, I, uh, I need to stop analyzing this. I love the look of the city. It looks very cyberpunk. Uh, I've been waiting to get back to a city. I, I don't, I'm not a huge fan of the travel stuff look at that. look at this look at this i i want to be able to oh, it looks so cool i i want to be able to just kind of settle down for a little bit that's going to be nice i hope we're here for two volumes i at least it would be nice I, I don't care what happens i just we need to slow down a little bit on the travel stuff dude okay I need to stop analyzing. I'm getting too ahead of myself. I am excited for this. If you want to see my reactions, go to my Patreon. They will be up there first, and you can see watch the full reaction of that. Uh, the YouTube versions will be edited edited slightly. I just I feel weird putting the entire episode out on my channel just because I would rather uh, like push people over to Rooster Teeth, even though I don't. I mean, I doubt I'm going to be pushing a lot of people. I don't have that big of a following, but whatever. I'm excited for this. Uh, it'll be the same thing like I did with Genlock. If you haven't seen that, you can go watch that. It'll be somewhere around here or in the description. You can click to go watch that. And I'm also doing Inktober. I have done the first two days. Today I am doing day three. Uh, and time-lapse videos of that is over on my Patreon if you want to see those. Or you can go to my Twitter or Instagram. I have photos of the finished drawing on there. And, uh, yeah. I don't know if... Oh! Also, I will be watching... Uh, My Hero Academia, that premieres on October 12th, I think. Uh, I will be watching the English version just because it's easier to react to and stuff like that. Um, unless it gets too far behind, then I will stay up to date with the uh, subbed version of it. Uh, but yeah, I'm really excited. This is going to be a crazy year. We got My Hero coming back. Also, I don't know if I'm going to be re reacting to it, but uh, Sword Art Online Allegization, I think that's how you say it, uh, part two or the continuation or whatever it is uh, is supposed to be coming back this month. That's what I heard at least. I don't know when or if that's true. Um, I'll at least talk about it on my Instagram. So if you want to go follow me there, I talk about a lot of anime that I watch and games I play and all that stuff. But yeah, so hope you guys enjoyed. I will see all of you next time.